um, with this bipod, um, basically to take it down, you do that, press this little uh, lever down, and then to extend it, you just twist that and it comes out like that, then untwist it, push it back in, tighten it, and then to get it on, you basically press this button to take that off, then you put it around your barrel, clamp it, and then twist this little um, knob, I guess, to get it tighter or looser around the barrel. Now, um, I would give each one of these, uh, I'll talk about this in a second, but this I would give a 9 out of 10 for battery life, um, and that thing. This I'd probably give a 7 out of 10, only because it, it's a great spotting scope, but it just really doesn't do well because it's always too low or too high. Um, let's see, the bipod I would give a 10 out of 10 because it serves its job. I mean, it's not supposed to be anything super special. But um, these King Arms mid caps hold 85 rounds. I would give these about a 6 out of 10 because they double feed and jam, um, but they, when they do work, they're amazing. And they also decrease your profile when they're in there like that. But um, that's the good things on these. Um, another thing about the gun that um, I would suggest you doing is, well, first off, I'm going to tell you how to break it down. Um, basically, just get something small to where you can press this little knob in right here, and it should come out like that. It comes out a little pin. Don't lose it because I don't think you can buy a separate one. But then you press up, and it should ex expose the gearbox, the um, uh, magazine well feeder, um, the barrel, which is here, and this is a field strip. This is what the real one. This is how the real real one field strips. So um, you can take the barrel out by pulling on this, but like I said before, it's jammed. Um, I'm not going to take apart the gearbox because it's take me too long and I wouldn't want I wouldn't be able to put it back together so um, this gun is still once again uh, $155 um, I love it this thing is other than the cons that I stated about it but um, and it, it's just it's a good gun for a beginner I would not recommend this unless you really like to work on guns and upgrade it um, unless this is your I thought this is the very first gun so um, I would definitely suggest this if you're going to buy a brand new gun for a beginner or your son or somebody like that who just is just starting and trying to get into it. But um, the I, I, rare, I really don't think you can see this, but right here you have the Echo 1 Stag, this is the Stag Arms A4, um, but you have the Stag Arms logo, you have the um, insignia, you have the caliber 5.56, um, Echo1USA.com. You have all the markings. That's a real one. Well, not all of them, just a few of them. But um, the safety safety switch um, right here. It's this knob right here. Um, it's very loose. Well, not loose. It's it's not very stiff. I would say. But when it's all the way pointing this way, when you're looking at it, it's safe. When it's going straight up, it's um, semi-automatic. And then when it's all the way this way, it would be fully automatic. And fully, the rate of fire is, I think, around 700 rounds per minute or something like that with this battery. Same with this battery. But um, safety does work. It's um, The body, just real quick, is all plastic, which is another con. I weighed this with all of its stuff on it, and it ended up being just about 11 pounds, which does not seem like much, but when you don't have a sling, then and you're just carrying it around and lugging it around for six hours, it gets pretty heavy. And um, this scope right here adds about two pounds, and bipod adds about two. But um, this carry handle really adds some weight. It doesn't feel like it, but once you take it off, you'll be so relieved. It has um, probably adds about two pounds as well. But um, to insert the magazine, basically take it to where you see this little bump where the uh, BBs are, and you just insert it in like that. Then to release the magazine. You press this little button right here and to just slide out. And um, this is a 300 round high capacity magazine. So one of the things you have to do is when you fill it up, you do not use a speed loader like these, but you just pour BBs into here. And another thing, do not use non-high polished BBs that you buy at Walmart or something. And don't use .12s because they will ruin your gun. Um, uh, this is a great magazine. Everyone says it jams. Mine has not yet. Nor is my gun, which a lot of people say jams. But um, I do take good care of my rifles. Um, 
So this is a great gun. I would recommend you buy it. Um, my overall rating, if you're a beginner, my overall rating is probably uh, 7 out of 10, mainly for the cons I stated with this. But this, you can go on Airsoft GI or someplace like that to where it's a $40 where you get a whole front assembly where you get the delta ring, the foregrip, the sight, the barrel, the inner barrel, all that for $40, and you just attach it there. Um, in stock, I mean, you, I talked with the people at Nashville Airsoft, which is my hometown dealer, and they said you really don't have to worry about it um, because it won't do much. It, it's just a crack. I mean, I take mine up just to be careful, but still. Um, uh, the barrel wobble. I, there are little screws down here, but they don't really fix it. So um, that's that. Uh, the barrel, the, there's two screws here to take the stock off. Don't mess with those, these are hard to put back in. Um, I mean, it's, it's a pretty good rifle. The um, flash hider I have not tried to take off, but they're right here. There's a very weird um, key that you have to use to get it off, and I've heard it's like incredibly hard because it's like thread locked. But um, yeah, I really recommend this gun to beginners and people who like to work on guns. And that is my review of the Echo 1 M16A4. Thank you.